We're back again with another running video. Today is day 5069 of the running streak, 5069 days in a row. And uh, today we did a workout. Usually you do a workout or intervals on the track, but I can't get on the track, so I have this course um, measured out. I use the wheel to measure out the course, so it's exactly 440 yards, which I'll probably refer to as 400 meters, which is basically the same thing. It is about 49 degrees, light wind, light rain. My legs have been feeling a little lethargic, a little slow these past few weeks. Um, so when you get into like a rhythm or a rut, running the same pace every day, then you want to kind of break it up or you want to increase the pace or, you know, run faster up tempo it's harder to do because your legs are just like kind of in that mode and then it just doesn't feel comfortable so one of the good things you could do is do intervals or a track workout and that will get your legs out of the malaise and it'll improve your fitness number one and then the next day also you'll feel better when then you start doing your regular runs again you'll feel a little jump in your step so I definitely recommend doing workouts as much as possible. I've been very lazy not doing them, but you get that way during the winter. So some people will do their workouts with a fancy Apple Watch with GPS on it. But I have this old Casio watch, which I use. It's a little old, it's a little broken, but it suits me just fine. Definitely a keeper. I love my Casio. So I came out to do the workout. I did the two mile warm up. I did four times 400 with equal rest. And I hit 142, 142, 138, 140 for those times. Now you can see this is all uphill. It goes all the way down the hill and then all the way up this way behind me and where are we oh here we are if you could see i don't know if you could see that pink bag that's the uh 400 mark so down the hill run all the way up that hill to the pink bag 400 meters, 440 yards. So, like I said, you gotta do track workouts every once in a while to get your legs motivated and going. And if I was doing this for a race, the pace that I would pick would be your race pace. If you're gonna do intervals, your, your interval pace is your race pace for a 5K. So if you run, let's just round it off. If you're running a three mile, race and you run 18 minutes your race pace is six minutes a mile so that means your 400 interval pace would be 130s so you would do 130s with a 130 rest or you could do three minute halves with a three minute rest so that's how you figure out your interval pace that's if you're training for a race now i'm not up to training for a race yet because i'm not in shape because i'm uh, i've been nursing this knee injury but hopefully in the spring, I'll be able to start taking some workouts and then I'll get back in shape and then I'll be able to jump in some races here. So that's all for today. Make sure you get out there and run. See you on the next one.